Audhu billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaikum i'm going to continue talking about all of these weird comments and stumbling blocks that non-muslims seem to have and literally all of these are coming from my comment section one of the biggest ones i'm seeing a lot of is that the quran is not real that it was literally compiled by the third caliph Usman may Allah be pleased with him who took a whole bunch of different copies all of which i'm told contradicted themselves and compiled it into one copy that we have of the Quran today that's not true and a little bit of um Searching for even the non-Muslim would turn up the answer. So Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him, would receive a revelation. Once he had that revelation, he went and he communicated it to his companions. May Allah be pleased with them. Now, keep in mind that Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him, memorized the, Qur the Quran because he could not read or write. So as it was being revealed to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for him to remember. They then he went to his companions, as I said, may Allah be pleased with them, and they in turn wrote it down. And as soon as it was written down, Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him, would read it to make sure it was exactly what was revealed. That's how we got the Quran. The Quran you see today, the one that we read, the one that almost 2 billion Muslims who are alive on the planet today read, is the same Quran that was revealed to Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him. No changes have been made. In fact, you can't. And I would challenge any Christian watching this video to try to come up with something similar to the Quran. You can't do it. Now, how do we keep the Quran safe from change? We don't. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does. He says in the 15th surah, the 9 ayat, we have without a doubt sent down the message and we will assuredly guard it from corruption. Alhamdulillah. This is an amazing thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done for us. So when we are told that the Quran is fake, Let's take a moment to educate and tell the Christian and Jewish person or the Buddhist or atheist or whomever it is exactly how the Quran came to be. It's, it's one of the many miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him. That this, the Quran, the way that he remembered it, the way that he received it. And it baffles my mind that Christians, for example, are okay with revelation for them, but no one else. Sad. Hope this helps. Salam.